this. So you're getting the perimeter of the uh, the privy hole yeah, yep, with the yep. your probe. The some cheap markers, just some sticks to mark the corners. We just, we're a low tech. Huh? Nothing wrong with that. Nope. If you lose your sticks, you're, you ain't going to feel... Oh, wow, that goes presses pretty easily. So that's almost certainly inside, right? Right. A little See stepper. there, it's really hard. Okay, so that's probably a, an edge. So, so that's an in. An in. And then we're going to go over here. That's, that's an out. An out. Probably an end. That's an end. Okay, so okay. it's another border marker. And we go, because they're approximately three foot wide. Well, okay. I'm going to say that's an end. That's an out. Oh, it's an out, okay. Yeah. Out. Narrow. That's the end. Okay. Sounds a little bit different. Okay, you're hitting junk at the bottom of the hole. That's it. Okay. Okay. So what do you got? About a three got, foot by about a three foot square there. We got a two and a half by four foot. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just keep probing. Anything else? See, so you know, you got at least one one hole for an auto. Yep. It's right there. The sticks, okay. Awesome. So I threw in some white flags to mark where oh, it looks like the periphery of the uh, the hole for the the autos. There you go. So, a little easier to visualize it that way. No, it's just super small. <laughs> yes, it can. Mm. Well, they got pointed. You see, if you look at ours, ours isn't that pointed. Right. So that's purposeful, so you so don't. When you when you run into something, it'll deflect. You just, More you chance of deflect. Move over a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And believe it or not. Yeah. It goes in the ground easier. It's not pointed. Right, it's probably not catching rocks and staying dead center on a rock. Yeah. It goes in easier. I believe. A plastic charm. Oh, like a lucky like, charm? Like a light bulb. Went on something little. Yeah, it was, he wanted to, but it's plastic. Yeah. He wanted it to coincide on his beard. Okay. Oh, it is a light bulb charm. Look. Matches. An old enamel or a picture. Oh, there you go. It's a Muhlenbach from uh, Prohibition. It's, maybe it's hand finished even. Squad beer. <laughs> it's a machiner. It's a Muhlenbach. It's goats. It's Mulo. Told you it was Muhlenbach. Well, the, the, the Prohibition product from that country company was called Mulo. Here's Mulo on it right there. Very cool. That's from Kansas. Wow, Kansas that's a sharp Kansas. looking bottle. That's it's even got the cork still in it. It's Mulo. It's a 1920s Prohibition product. Very cool. Very cool. Thank Kansas you. Kansas City and, Bra and Brainerd. All right. Well, I even knew something for the first time. Stay I right there. Yeah, uh, shard of a uh, Red Wing croc with the the, the Red Wing and the uh, ski oil. Yeah, ski oil, Union stoneware. Very cool. So now you're really into the uh, thick of it with the interesting shards. Yep. Glass, porcelain, bricks. So is that like a liner you're hitting there with that wood? 
Or no? Uh, I don't think so. All right, because it's above the. I think it's just there was a pit. That one's cool. Piece of glassware. It's cobalt blue. It has gold flashing on it. Looks like a handle to maybe a uh, some kind of a candy tray, something, I don't know. It's a very small decorative handle. So when they talk about the seed layer in these privy holes, the old outhouse holes, this is what it looks like. It's the, uh, basically when somebody ate jam, passed through their body, uh, hundred years later the seeds are still there so every hole has a bit of gold so here's a piece of porcelain with some real gold just not very thick then film underneath the uh, the glaze dr. M.N. Flenner's people's remedy I believe it says said not sure, New York, NY, and something. USA, don't know what the rest of that is. Apparently a common bottle. Brian says it's a common medicine bottle, so no high value to this particular bottle. Hansons. Hansons. Wow, that's really nicely embossed. Good. Hey, I'd give you a head. Man, that is. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Just as soon as he steps out of the hole, you Yeah, well, it. that's because I, I, I. You got the luck. I got the, I got the, I got the gift. Wow. Well, congratulations. Very nice. So this is what they're typically after, Mark and Brian. These embossed bottles with a uh, pharmacist name or in the uh, t name of the town. We are in Brainerd, Minnesota. It says Brainerd, Minnesota on the bottom of the bottle there. So, it's typically what they look for is embossed bottles with the town name and the name of a pharmacist or a drugstore. So, nice bottle, nicely embossed. So it's a old medicine bottle. Looks like it's got some of the original medicine in it. Some groundwater. Don't know what it was. Oh, it's draining on my finger. Ooh, nasty. Another really desirable bottle. It has the pharmacist name on it. It has the name of the town. So this is what they're after when they're bottle digging. Also this bottle also almost certainly has the original contents or probably mixed in it with a little groundwater. It still has the original cork. Kind of pretty nasty looking now but some oily amber looking stuff in there. Oh, so there's the uh, the wholesome ingredients to that the bottle. The wholesome ingredients, yes. Probably makes uh, whatever it is. It's or still, it smells like pine salt. Oh, <laughs> it's actually super oily too. So I'm gonna wipe my hands off. Yeah. And it's like it's really nasty. Oh shoot, dude! I almost dropped the bottle. No. An old whiskey flask, probably from the early 1900s. Late 1800s, not particularly valuable, no name on it. It says half pint, full measure. Part of a uh, coffee cup, tea cup, I don't know. Either, whatever your beverage preference. 
looks like they reversed the ends on the uh, embossing. The June 23rd, 03. The end is in inversed, patented, the end is reversed. You're gonna have a pretty big collection of these. Pretty Another, big family of them, huh? Yeah. What do you got? Another Johnson? Yep. Johnson. Whoa. Doing something right? Yeah. Another on fully embossed on damaged bottle. Yeah. I I mean really. He you couldn't really he's that's all pretty excited about that. Oh Rod would be all excited, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, he'd be over here in a heartbeat, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. So you know, I'm impressed. So this is a uh, Crown Top soda bottle, Jazz Color, Brainerd, Minnesota. Pretty impressive. These guys are hammering it with this hole. Lots of whole embossed bottles, undamaged. This will clean up really nice. So Brian says this is a machine-made scar on the bottom of this bottle. He's guessing it's a, a beer. So, Crown Top Brainerd soda bottle, cork uh, stopper, medicine bottle, Johnson's Pharmacy, Brainerd, Minnesota. These three are the from the same pharmacist. So you got actually a size series going here. These are the Fenner's, Dr. Fenner's uh, People's Cure, or whatever it was. Just a whiskey flask, full measure, half pint, full measure. Embossed with the patent date on this bottle. Don't know what it is. This one's a curious bottle. Panels embossed. Heinemann's. Uh, I can't quite read it. from malt and hops.